Yes. Okay. So for growth strength assessment, if he's in this position, I can test shoulder, elbow, and wrist. And I can do it very systematically. If I push here, I'm really looking at his wrists. Yes, I'm also testing his shoulder because his shoulder may drop, but I'm really focusing on the wrist. Here, a little bit more of internal rotation. Here, a little bit more flexion abduction. Okay, so I simply say to him, don't let me push you down. Don't let me push you down. Don't let me push you down. My strength gets more as I go up. This is lighter, just a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. Simple. Then I have to test the up. Don't let me push you up. Don't let me push you up. Don't let me push you up. Now in and out. Don't let me push you in. Don't let me push you in. Don't let me push you in. Don't let me pull your hands out. Don't let me pull the arms out. Don't let me pull the arms out. That was everything. Relax. Right? <laughs> what I'm also looking at when he does this is does his trunk give? So if I do this and he gives, his arms are actually holding. His trunk is, is what just gave. So maybe I take him into supine and do a real more specific something for his arms. Maybe I start looking at his trunk. I'll have to see what the rest of the examination shows me. So that was the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist. Now, if I want to do a little more of the fingers and the pronator supinators, I can ask him to squeeze my hand as hard as he can, web space to web space. In that position, he can't hurt me. Really squeeze. Squeeze as hard as you can, hard as you can, hard as you can, hard as you can. It doesn't hurt. So as he squeezes a little tiny bit, I can say, all right, back off a little bit. Don't let me rotate you palm down. Don't let me rotate you palm up. Good. Other side. Don't let me rotate you down. Don't let me rotate you up. Squeeze as hard as you can. And then relax. And I can even say, just squeeze a little tiny bit. Don't let me move your wrist out. Don't let me move your wrist in. Don't let me move your wrist down. Don't let me move your wrist up. Checking the wrist. Fingers. Spread them wide apart. And I can compare. These muscles are delicate. I'm not jamming them together. I'm giving slight slight resistance. Squeeze them together, slightly pulling them apart, very light resistance. I knew that one was going to be weak. <laughs> he doesn't actually adduct that last pinky, and you got plenty of motion there. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's the upper extremity. Lower extremity, lay down. And again, with lower extremity, can't test them both at the same time like we can the upper extremity. So we can say, bring your knee back to your chest. From this position, don't let me push down. Don't let me push up. Don't let me push down. Don't let me push up. Sorry. <laughs> don't let me push down. Don't let me push up. Don't let me pull the leg out. Don't let me push the leg in. Don't let me push the foot in. Don't let me pull the foot out. Don't let me rotate the heel in. Don't let me rotate the heel out. And what else did I do? That, I think I did everything. Put it down. Oh, Dorsey. No, did I do the history question? It's hard when I'm teaching it. <laughs> but that's really it. Just try and be systematic. Up, 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 down, 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 in, 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 out, out, out. The lower extremity you have to do both sides separately. It takes a little bit more time. If he has a lower extremity issue, walking, balancing, I'm going to be looking more here. If he's having dressing issues, feeding issues, pain in his upper extremity, difficulty moving his hand, difficulty using an assistive device. I'm gonna look at his upper extremity. That's my first level of clinical reasoning. Try those.